Turn from your sin. Turn from your foolish way of living for self. Jesus Christ died for all those who are living for self. So they no longer live for self, but live for him instead who died for them. You can be set free from living a selfish life, a life full of sin, and live a God-fearing, God-honoring, God-pleasing life. That's good news today. God can give you a new nature. You must be born again. You must be born again. If a man or woman is not born again, they don't enter heaven. Now that's the message that we preached here today, this afternoon, that there's forgiveness. Only one way. This forgiveness doesn't come through Allah, through any other religion than Jesus Christ. Through his sacrifice and his precious blood upon that cross that clothes you from your, God, from your sin. That clothes you in righteousness. You can be considered sin free, perfect in the sight of the judge. Jesus Christ who knew no sin became sin for us so that we'd have his righteousness. You can be for forgiven. The slate wiped clean. It doesn't matter what you've done in your entire life. God will remove your sin as far as the east is from the west. And remember it no more. That's good news. You can live your life with the joy and peace of knowing that your sins are blotted out. Because of what Jesus Christ did on that cross. You keep trying in your own efforts to be a good person. And to make up for the bad that you've done. Then it's not going to be a happy ending on the day of judgment. Stop trusting in your own selves. Stop trusting in your own intelligence, your own righteousness. You need to be perfect before God. And the perfection that God requires, He provides in Jesus Christ. He's your only hope today. Now this guy has got a sign here. Let me read it out in case Their you can't read. Is pride. Their sin is pride. Now we've got a sign that says, Pride comes before destruction. Pride is not a good thing. We had an event on here last Saturday and pre people were celebrating sin, cloaked in entertainment and presented it as a good thing to us. But it's not a good thing to be proud. Pride comes before destruction. That's the word of God. God knows your heart and he's going to judge righteously on that day. And he says, pride comes before destruction, a haughty spirit before, fall, before a fall. So humble yourselves. God gives grace to the humble, but resist the proud. Bow the knee to King Jesus. Wave the white flag and come to him today. And all of your sin, no matter how great, can be forgiven. You can be made a new creature in Christ. If any man is in Christ, is a new creature. The old is gone. Behold, all things become new. You need your sins forgiven. So come to him today. If anyone has any questions, we'll quite happily answer all your questions. I have a question. Okay. What's your opinion on Islam? What's my opinion on Islam? Well, for the simple fact that the Quran hasn't been changed, its, it's existence whilst the Bible has been constantly well, changed by one my, of First of all, my, my opinion on Islam or any other religion doesn't mean anything. What matters is what God says. And Jesus said that many will try to earn favor with God and get peace with God through a myriad of ways. They'll try to climb up some other way. But Jesus said they're no better than a thief or a robber. So Jesus' opinion on Islam is it's a false religion. It's going to see a lot of people perish. Islam is not the way to peace with God. You don't, you don't have to be a Muslim to earn favor with God.